Ten Ukrainian troops have been wounded over the past 24 hours, according to army spokesman Andrei Lutsenko. He said on Wednesday that Russian-backed insurgents used heavy weapons and tanks along the demarcation line. Attacks were recorded in areas including Shirokina, a village by the Azov Sea between Mariupol and the Russian border, and in several settlements west of Donetsk. The increased number of armed provocations in previously quiet areas leaves no doubt that the enemy is attempting to violate the ceasefire and then blame the Ukrainian side for that. Ukrainian intelligence suggests that Russian-backed militants have amassed a force of some 700 militant Russian tanks and 43,000 soldiers, news agency TSN reported on Tuesday. Reports suggest militants have restocked their weapon and ammunition supplies in order to improve their skills for the active phase of hostilities. Meanwhile, an explosion near Odessa damaged railway tracks late on Tuesday, just before a train was about to pass that section of the line. No injuries were reported. It was the latest in a number of explosions in cities including Odessa, Kiev and Kharkiv in recent months, most of which have targeted pro-Ukrainian volunteer organisations, officers and groups.